What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators channel. Haven't done a video in a while. Uh, been busy, been traveling, been not flying. Um, been down here at the cabin. I'm down here solo. Well, kind of. I got my dog. But I got something pretty cool. A cool gun. And this one has a, another story to it. Um, I uh, originally bought this gun probably when I was 19 years old, and I don't even think I was allowed to buy it, but I bought it. Um, and used it uh, when I was uh, guiding. And it started life as a uh, Ruger single six. It was one of those convertibles where you could pop the cylinder out and uh, interchange it between a um, 22 Magnum and a 22 long rifle. And so, um, you know, I actually carried this guiding. All the other guys, they used to make fun of me because, oh, you're shooting a 22 Magnum. And I had a 44, but I couldn't hit anything with it. Um, and so I picked up this gun in a, uh, in a pawn shop in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, um, carried it for, you know, three or four years and absolutely fell in love with the 22 Magnum. Um, so then fast forward like lots and lots and lots of years. Um, I had some custom work done to it. So a lot of the custom work that I had done to this, now Ruger does it from the factory. And so, you know, it rendered all those dollars I spent having this made just the way I want it. Um, lost. That's how it goes. But I'll talk a little bit about this gun. True to form, this is another reader gun. Uh, and, you know, after three or four years of abuse in the field, you know, the gun still actually looked really good. I mean, the handles were a little bit scarred on it, but uh, other than that, it had no real scratches. It was in really good shape, stainless steel, obviously. Um, but the gun was special to me because I carried it for so long. I mean, I carried this gun every place I went. Um, you know, flying and, and uh, just every place I went. And so the gun means a lot to me. I'm going to give it to my son. He'll probably cut the barrel off and, you know, draw on it with... A knife or something but anyways let me uh, let me talk a little bit about what I had done to this gun so you can see uh, that it's obviously the grip is different we'll start from back here Gary uh, put his gunfighter grip on there uh, I had these black micarta grips made and you can see that I'm gonna be pointing this gun everywhere so you can see that it's totally unloaded um, so the gun fits me very very well and uh, I shoot this gun very well. I uh, had a polished hammer put on it, had a, uh, an action job done on it. The trigger pull on this gun is probably three and a half, four pounds, and it breaks like glass. It's uh, very cool. Um, probably the coolest thing uh, that I had done to this gun was I had it converted from the single six shot to eight shots. Now, how do you do that? It's not as simple as just putting eight holes in a, in a round piece of steel and popping it back in the chamber. No, what you have to do is you have to change the ratcheting mechanism uh, for the geometry of this new cylinder. And so I had that done and it rendered the 22 long rifle cylinder useless, which I don't care. I never actually shot the cylinder and I think I lost it right after I bought the gun. So, um, uh, so that's that. So anyways, it's converted to 8-shot. I think you can get these from Ruger now um, already in 8-shot form. Um, and so, you know, make, that kind of makes the having them converted uh, not as desirable. Um, have an oversized base pin in the gun. Uh, and it's when it locks, I mean, it's just, it doesn't move. Uh, typical of a reader gun. Uh, had the uh, trigger polished. Um, had a shillin target barrel put on uh, and had that fitted to a new housing here had this welded on it has ghost ring sights on it uh, very very accurate um, very accurate gun uh, absolutely love it you know one of the things that uh, I didn't really like about it was when I got it back from Gary it had these little gophers on the side and I'm like who puts a gopher on, on my gun and I was a little bit I was like oh I can't believe Gary did that you know, 
Um, see the little gopher? You got one there, and you got the little gopher there. I mean, I shot caribou with this thing. I killed, you know, finished off bears with this thing. And here, it's got gophers on it. So I'm out, you know, shooting with my buddies, and they see the gun, and they're like, oh, wow, let me see that gun. And, oh, cool, it's got, like, squirrels and gophers on it. I'm like, yeah, I pick those. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's got a, a deep dish um, crown to the barrel, so it's very protected. Um, now, this was one of the first eight-shot conversions that Gary did. It was, you know, in the first two or three, the first batch he did. And so this one's got very, very tight chambers, and, and it only shoots CCI. Um, the others, um, you put it in there, shoot a shot, and then it won't, it won't cycle very well. So some would call that kind of a downer, but I don't know, as accurate as this gun is, I just go buy those bricks of CCI, and I just burn through them. So, um, so I'm good with it. You know, I, I'm assuming you could probably stone the uh, chambers and, and open them up a little bit or re-ream them. I don't, I don't know the gunsmithing term, but um, anyways, so this is my Ruger single six um, converted to eight shot, uh, 22 Magnum. And I, I got to tell you, you know, by the time I was finished guiding, um, I don't know how many animals I killed with this gun or finished with this gun, but it was literally in the hundreds. And, um, you know, by the end of, uh, by the end of hunting my, uh, some of the guys I hunted with had ditched their 50 or, you know, 454 Casuals and their 50 AEs and their 44 mags. And they were shooting 22 mags because you carry a lot of ammo, you know, it's going to be rare that you stop at any kind of charge with a pistol anyways. And so, um, you know, if you're in that kind of country and hunting, typically you're carrying a rifle anyways. So a lot of those guys that I hunted with, you know, went to 22 mags and, um, you know, and 357s, just stuff that was more manageable than, than a 44. And I've done a video on that 44. I love the gun now, but, uh, um, this, I could just shoot it better. It was handier. Um, you know, at the time it was six shots, uh, and it did everything I ever wanted it to do. And so, you know, this one's probably going to stick with me for a while. Um, so anyways, there you have it. You know, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, and comment. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm sitting in my kitchen in the cabin, and there are turkeys gobbling outside, and it's hunting season. So you might very well get a video of me popping a turkey. Because um, they're just gobbling like crazy. I saw three of them when I was driving in tonight. Good Lord. Home fried turkey. Might go do that tonight. Anyways, till next time.